Hello there, I'm your friend, Teacher Sam. Today I'm going to teach you how to become a fluent English speaker all by yourself. In our global community, English bridges gaps, opening doors to countless opportunities. This video will guide you through the steps to grasp this language's nuances, from mastering the basics to consistent practice and immersion. By the end, you'll have the tools to converse confidently and naturally, no classrooms required. So, are you ready to embark on this journey towards fluency? Great, let's get started. First things first, mastering the basics forms the foundation of any language learning journey. Think of it like building a house. You wouldn't start with the roof, would you? No, you'd start with the foundation, and in language learning, that foundation is grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation. English grammar is like the blueprint of your house. It gives structure to your sentences and makes your messages clear and understandable. So, get a good grasp of the rules. There are plenty of resources available online and in books. Next, your vocabulary is like the bricks and mortar. These are the words and phrases you'll use to form your sentences. Read and listen to English as much as you can. The more words you know, the more ways you can express yourself. And finally, pronunciation is like the finishing touches, the paint and decor. It's what makes your English sound natural and easy to understand. Listen to native speakers, mimic their accents, and don't be shy to practice out loud. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Keep practicing the basics and you'll find yourself improving day by day. Now that you've got the basics down, it's time to practice, practice, and practice some more. As with any new skill, repetition is the key, and language learning is no exception. Think of it as a sport, or learning to play an instrument. The more you do it, the better you get. There are so many ways to immerse yourself in English. Read English books, not just textbooks, but novels, short stories, newspapers and magazines. This will improve your vocabulary, grammar and understanding of how sentences are constructed. Listen to English music or podcasts. You'll get used to the rhythm and intonation of the language. It can also help you understand different accents and dialects. Watching English movies or shows is another fantastic way to practice. It's not just about understanding the words, but also the culture, expressions and body language. Speaking English whenever possible is crucial. Talk to yourself, to your friends, or join language exchange groups. There's no substitute for real conversation. It's the fastest way to become fluent. Remember, it's okay to fumble, to stumble upon words, to not know certain phrases. That's part of the process. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn, to improve. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. They're stepping stones to learning. Embrace them, learn from them, and keep going. The road to fluency might be long, but with persistence, you'll get there. Next up on the path to fluency is immersion and consistency. Think of learning English as diving into a pool. The more you immerse yourself, the easier it becomes to swim. Surround yourself with English as much as possible. Listen to English podcasts, watch English movies, read English books. The more exposure you have to the language, the more familiar it becomes. Consistency, on the other hand, is like a compass guiding your journey. It's not about studying for five hours one day and then not touching your English book for a week. It's about dedicating a little time each day, making English a part of your routine. Consistency helps to reinforce what you've learned, to build on it day by day. Remember, it's not a race, but a journey. Learning a language takes time, patience, and most importantly, practice. Stay consistent, and before you know it, you'll be speaking English fluently. And there you have it. Those are the steps to becoming a fluent English speaker by yourself. We started with the basics, reminding you that a strong foundation in grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation is crucial. We then moved on to the importance of practice. Just as a musician must play their instrument to improve, you must use English to become more proficient. We also talked about immersion and consistency, surrounding yourself with the language and making a regular habit of studying and practicing English will speed up your learning process. Remember, becoming fluent in English is not a race, it's a marathon. It's about steady progress and not quick fixes. It's about immersing yourself in the language and making it a part of your everyday life. It's about being consistent and never giving up. Remember, becoming fluent in English is a journey, not a destination. So keep practicing, keep learning, and most importantly, enjoy the process. You've got this.